Hello everybody, welcome back to Art Symbol Studios. Today we're gonna do the review for this Turner Acryl Gouache. I have the set of 12 colors. It comes in this box. This just says what it is. Acrylic polymer emulsion colors for art and design, opaque, matte and water resistant. So we're going to look at the properties of this and see what we can make with this set. So let's look at one of these guys first. It has the 20 mil, the brand, what it is, the name of the color, the name of the pigment used. And then on the other side, I see there's a light fast information that's pretty hard to miss but i'm not sure everything else is in japanese here um maybe this is for opacity there's a square here but i'm not sure so i don't know where to look for the opacity right on these tubes i am going to swatch it out on just a mixed media paper and we'll see if we do some mixes and if we can get some more colors out of this set. I did reorder them a little bit to how I'm used to it. So I'm just gonna test it in this order. I have the white. Ooh, it is <laughs> very opaque. Next we have Permanent Lemon. Let's see. I mean, it is pretty opaque for a yellow. I can still see the line a little bit. So next we have Permanent Yellow Deep. And this one looks like it has two pigments in it. it. I don't see any streakiness going on. It goes on pretty smoothly, but it dries right away. <laughs> Next color is Permanent Scarlet. Ooh, very, very bright. Like all of the colors are very bright, looks like. I think this is a warm red. Next one is permanent red. This looks like a cold. Cold red. Next one is permanent green light. It's a pretty, Ooh, very opaque, very opaque. I can barely see, like comparing to this, I can barely see the line. Next one is permanent green middle. Middle. <laughs> Not my favorite green. I think it looks better when you add a little bit of white on this. Sky blue. This one's a little bit more transparent. Cobalt blue. It's a hue. Oh, that one's opaque. I don't think any of these are transparent, but 
these guys look more on the semi-opaque side. Then we have violet. <gasps> okay. Wow. It's not as transparent. I think I have a lot of water left on the brush. Beautiful. It doesn't have dark brown <laughs> in the set. We have the burnt sienna. <laughs> Very opaque. Very opaque. And jet black. black. <laughs> so this is it. This is the colors that we have in the set. Most of these are dry. You can see how matte the finish is. And all the colors are very, very bright, and all the colors are numb, streaky, go on very smoothly. Looks like I have maybe one, two, three, four, or five very opaque colors, and the rest is, I think, somewhere semi opaque, most likely. Let's see what kind of mixes we can do. You gotta remember that this paint dries very, very quickly. So you gotta work really fast or you need to spray your palette with water. I usually use like a little spritzer. Looks like we can do a little pretty green. I just want to see. So you have some time on your surface to move the colors, but once it's completely dry, it should be permanent. Let's see. Which one I took? Purple. It's kind of a muted down purple. Maybe I have our own blue. Mm, I'm not sure if I did I take this blue. Maybe not. Let's see if this blue is better. It's kind of a burgundy purple. Nope. No, oh, okay. This this is better. This is a better purple. We got a real purple. That one's mm, it's like almost like indigo. We got. It. We like green. This one's gonna be like a... What is this called? But it comes out darker than this. We'll see how it dries. So I guess we can do we can do a little bit darker browns. Well, so here we go. 
we have we can make some colors it looks pretty um brilliant the secondary colors that are coming out meaning we don't have a lot of the fillers or a uh, limited number of pigments in those tubes except for this one because this one has three including white but it's still not very big <laughs> let's see what we can make with this i am going to be working on this super large sketchbook it has watercolor paper in it but it's not sized so watercolor isn't really good on it but acrylic actually holds really well so we're gonna do it on this one website say about this paints. If you love painting, only Turner acrylic gouache is fully pigmented, totally free of heavy metal pigments and are light fast. Because of the small amounts of binder, there is a little color shift after painting and the brilliance continues through the drying process, making painting compositions more rewarding. Turner from Japan makes the highest quality and most cherished colors used by the most famous artists and illustrators from the region in the world and around, around the world. So what are these paints? These are, I think the gouache is a little bit um, confusing for a lot of people. Really it's an acrylic paint that dries matte and it's not as water resistant as your standard acrylic it has a little bit you can i think because of that finish because it's matte and it doesn't dry to this protective film you can still lift a little bit of color but not a lot it's definitely not like gouache it says there is 336 colors in this line it's not just the colors, they have all the metallic and iridescent and there's like Japanese colors. So there's all sorts of different kind of variations of this paint, but there's a lot of colors that is available. Colors adhere to most surfaces, boards, panels, paper, and wood. That is true. Colors spread out smoothly. This is very, very smooth and very, very opaque paint. I don't know about layering this paint because if you start layering really you're just going to cover up that underneath layer most likely but if you make like a light wash out of the color it is possible it blended well for me i didn't have any issues you do want to put a lot of water on your brush and on your paper to spread it because it dries so fast and they tell you even i think on the package and they say keep your brushes wet you need to do that otherwise the color will just dry out really really quickly once you put it on um, so quick drying water resistant good water resistant <laughs> that's what it says on the side available in 20 40 100 ml and 250 ml pouches so the paint is relatively pricey I think if you're buying those little 20 ml tubes, they range from 225 to 656 on Jerry's Arama right now. Really, I think it's about mm, 320 or something like that on the average per tube. If you buy those little ones, they go up to $20, I think, for those pouches. But I don't think pouches are available in every single color. My set, I think I bought for $36, but currently it is $24.60 on Jerry's.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. Love to all and have a great day.